What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm currently uh, taking a look back in the replay for the Drive Smart Daytona Challenge Series. It was the very first race, as you can see here at Daytona. Um, just wanted to kind of go through it this way. Uh, I did record it live. I might insert some of those clips. Um, not quite sure. It was, you know, it was Daytona. I was just riding. Um, so I, I figured I would take this um, approach to kind of explain my thought process going throughout the race and how I. Uh, you know, wanted to go about the race and how it played out and um, spruce it up a little bit. And you can see some of the other action that was going on. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off um, just looking at just to give some context. You can see multiple different colored cars throughout this shot. And you got there are six different colors because there are six different teams. And obviously each color means that there it's a different team. So uh, that's just something that uh, will be a part of this this challenge series is looking for you know the who's of what team because we're points racing for um each of the six teams as well as individual driver points is also being recorded throughout the five race series that we have going on so we're gonna um you know keep in mind some of that stuff throughout the that throughout the series as well as especially here at Daytona when it comes to working with others so uh, we'll get started um, and then take a look at qualifying so I decided not to qualify and I'm looking here I think I have the qualifying sheet it's, it's in reverse order here for some reason but I qualified 32nd out of 36 cars so um, I did not actually qualify I chose to just skip out on it and it put me 32nd so just was in the mindset of to ride around trying to avoid any wrecks that were going to happen so yeah we'll just kind of roll through this here and see how that played out and uh that was just my mindset just going to try and stick to it here as, as we go so as we say we take the green flag here something that was kind of interesting for me and something that i didn't really take into consideration before this race started was i actually have a setting um in i racing where i don't render more than i think it's 23 cars and with this being a 36 car field i actually wasn't rendering the leaders so i couldn't see who the leaders were and especially that comes to be pretty critical if there's a wreck so that was something i knew right off the start might have been a challenge but i did have colton co spotting for me so it kind of helped me get through some of those moments so we're just going to ride around here in the first lap i was just in the mindset backing off trying to fall in line you know, like I mentioned, had a few teammates around me, got one right up the road here, one, you know, back on my left rear. So I was just going to wait to see how it played out. As a team, we didn't really have any um, plan to organize or do anything of, of that nature. So we were just kind of going to split up and do it as we needed to. So um, for me, it was just to see how it was going to all ride and shake out. Um, as you see, I kind of get to the bottom. Um, and then I'm just going to ride around here for, for quite some time. Nothing spectacular uh, ends up ends up happening as we'll see so you know right now you see the field spanned out um as we'll jump forward here you'll see that closes right up and it gets pretty intense rather quickly so now i've jumped ahead to lap 15 and as you can see right up the road there is the main pack um, as i look here i'm currently running 29th so still way far out back and everyone's stacked up there everyone's two by two so just at this point, you could start to feel the handling starting to fade. The car started to get a little bit looser just as the tires wore out. Um, definitely something you see in real life now um, at Daytona is is the tire wear comes into play and the cars are starting to get a little bit looser through, you know, as the years continue to go on. And that's something that, you know, you're seeing in iRacing. As of right now, um, no one's three wide in this in this shot. They they were I I believe for a few moments a little bit earlier in the race but everyone's riding really well here so you know at this point I'm I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing it's just there's nowhere to go if you look up the road here you're gonna get stuck no matter where you go and I'm just kind of riding just taking our time it's an 80 lap race so that was something that was definitely present on the mind of of me Colton is how can we try and make it to the end of this race. We couldn't make it to the end on fuel either. So we knew we were going to have a pit stop. So if this did go green, um, we would have to come down pit road for a green flag pit stop. So that was something you had to take into consideration of surviving and being a part of a good group that can, you know, make it down pit road and do that. So as we just continue to log laps, we're just sitting here riding, buying our time, trying to make it to that pit stop or that wreck that happens and, and be in the best place possible. So we'll just continue to ride here and see what happens. 
So it's only two laps later from the last clip that I was showing. And we have, you're going to see off here in the corner, we start seeing the effects of the handling of these cars. We have one car get real squirrely and ultimately does a good job trying to get down out of the way. But as you can see, it broke our momentum in a big, big way. Um, kind of stacked us up, kind of got us separated. And as you can see, the front pack drives away from us. Definitely not what we wanted. Um, you want to be a part of the pack in case it does go green. And at this point, it's looking quite possible but that this race can continue to go green, that we could see green flag pit stops. And if all those go good, it can go all the way to the end. So it's only 20 laps in. You know, I wasn't losing hope yet, but we had to get together here and make up some time. So right now, if we get in a line and we, you know, book it and – we can catch the draft. I believe they're only five seconds up, but as you'll see here, it, it doesn't quite work out as good as we'd like. The guy in front of me gets loose and, and kind of, he does, he saves it, pulls a Kyle Bush, saves it, but now we're, we're losing even more time. We're not hooked up trying to catch back up to the lead pack. So that's where things really started to look ugly. We had a shot the lap before, and now um, there was pretty much a lost hope to catch that lead pack. But all right, now we've jumped a little bit further forward. It's now lap 40, so now we're halfway in the race. So we've done another 20 laps. Now I am leading the second pack, the guy out front. Um, he was having some internet issues, and it really made it hard for me to push him. So he was kind enough to get up out of the way. And then right now we're actually making up time on the lead pack, slowly but surely, but we are running into the end of the fuel run. So we're, we've been kind of having some communications about when we're going to pit and just hopefully going to be able to execute on, on pit road as a group, because we're a small group, we have to be able to make it out and, and be with each other to continue to draft and not lose more time. So that's going to be very important to get a good pit road. I, I was pretty confident, comfortable with where my marks were to get down onto pit road, but we'll see here pretty quickly as the majority of the main pack peeled off right there. Um, I made pit speed perfectly, but I just kind of forgot right there that my pit stall was going to be early you see a lot of guys that were back by me they, they did the same thing um just just something that slipped my mind was that i was gonna have a really early pit stall obviously qualifying um 30 30 second you know being one of those first pit stalls the tires wear out a lot more than you think they would at daytona i just kind of got that loss in my mind that i was gonna have to slow down to meet pit road speed and then turn in and continue to slow down i tried to roll down pit road like you normally would and just over sped into my box a little bit but we ended up coming out all right um the leaders are the three that just went by the uh all righty so this is the group that got formed back up after the pit stops i think i have a few more cars behind me but uh looks like we have a solid 10 car pack here just a lot of guys fell out of the lead draft were able to connect up with our group and this really helped us we were making good time as you see the lead pack up there in one and two we were making some time, um, nothing too substantial, but if we uh, we get around here to turn two, and yeah, yellow's already out. There was a blessing of a yellow. Um, there was a little bit of incident. Unfortunately, I can't grab uh, the replay there. Once again, I couldn't. I wasn't rendering those cars, so the replay didn't, um, unfortunately, show me those cars. So got a, a blessing of a yellow we uh, came back down pit road to just top it off with fuel seeing that we pitted just a little bit lap, a few laps beyond lap 40 um we weren't sure if there was overtimes or not so we wanted to make sure we were good on fuel so we'll end up coming down pit road and uh we'll get uh going on the next restart all righty so now we're coming back down in the tri oval to, to take the green flag um, a lot's changed since the start of the race. Obviously, we've had our first incident, but the race has also ran really green. So, um, obviously, I have a few teammates right here to my, my left, um, down in the bottom lane. But nothing really was changed in my mindset of how I wanted to approach this, simply because of the racing. Um, they were too wide for the majority of that run, and there was a lot of stints where guys were able to go three wide. So... For me, I wasn't sure how this was going to shake up the field, if this was going to do anything different. So I was still in the mindset of see what I could do here on the start. But if I couldn't make any forward progress quickly to just continue to ride a little bit behind the pack, I was confident that my brake pedal was going to work. Maybe not the guys behind me, but I knew that I, if I put myself kind of out of the, the chance to get pinballed around, 
that I had, had I've have a, I would have a chance to survive. So, um, you know, I pretty much go in uh, pretty quickly here just to get back to the bottom, start riding, let the pack slip away from me a little bit, and um, you know it. You know, I think right now we're looking at a coming up coming up to lap 60, so only 20 to go, and it's starting to turn into go time for sure. Um, of of if you're gonna try and make a run to the front, you need to take it. So this is what I was referring to as the as the intensity continued to rise as we got towards the end of the race. This is just approaching into the the, the lap 60s. We have a car get up in the outside wall here, um, but they're hardcore three wide, I believe. I'm seeing the leaders right now, and yeah, it's just, it's not something that's, you know, oh my gosh, they're going to wreck, but once again, when you start to get these cars in some different aero situations, and especially when the tires start to wear out, you know, you got to think, we haven't come back down pit road since that yellow around lap 50-ish, so it's been about 10 to 15 laps now, so as we saw at the beginning, we had some guys starting to get loose. Uh, and so this, when you start to see this, this is something that had not happened yet where they were racing this hard, um, three wide and things of, of that nature. So I'm dropping back, just trying to ride, trying to give myself a little bit of a gap here. And just just to be prepared, I'm in a good spot now. And as we see, um, yeah, the, I don't think I was actually seeing the leaders, and there is a little bit of a, a wreck here off of turn two. So I was able just to back it down. I saw some of those cars, um, you know, take a hard left down to the apron. was able to get slowed down. So made it through that one. That wasn't anything too big. Um, but So it is lap 69 coming to lap 70. Um, as you can see now, I have a lot of my teammates around me. Um, this is something that was definitely in the consideration if we uh, – you know, maybe could work together. But once again, we weren't in the same Discord or weren't really communicating with each other. So um, it was just something that we were going to kind of just be be kind to them, work with them if need be. But once again, it's lap 70. Now it's it's 10 to go, and I'm still in the mindset of I'm just too far back to go make a run. You're never safe. Um, and we'll see. You're not even safe here if you're the leader. So because I'm not opposed to the last lap making moves, but once again, if you stick your nose up in there on the last lap and something happens, you may as well be wrecked anyway. So if you can just stay back and, and take what you can get if they do wreck, um, you know, you, you know, for, for us, I mean, I'm running 18th right now, and if I go stick my nose up in there, um, with the way they're three wide, I, I only probably get to 15th. And then if they wreck, I, I risk losing all the spots of guys behind me. So if I just can stay here or or if guys want to drive by and go play in that mess um, and then they wreck, I might still finish 18th, but I didn't go from 15th to 25th. So that was kind of my mindset this entire race. It's just a part of how I think in my, my strategy, especially when it comes to this kind of racing. If it's a one-off race on iRacing where it's, you know, it's, Daytona week and there's no points involved, then sure, I'll go up there and wreck. They're three wide and they're three wide in a big way and it does not last very long. We see a car possibly blink. It might have been my rendering, but they make contact. They start hooking each other. I take a dive to the grass in the back stretch bus stop chicane and now we are mowing the grass as you see some of the hard hits that unfortunately took out my teammates up there. Um, yeah, that was not good. I plowed. Yeah, this, yeah, comes right up the track and, yeah, not not fun. So, that, and that's where you saw those guys. They were right with me just a moment ago. Um, two laps prior to this, that's where, you know, they were back by me. And, and you know, they were sustained a lot of damage. Uh, I was fine. I didn't get in there. All righty, so... Two laps to go, green-white checkered, unofficially. It's not like an official green-white checkered. They did not have green-white checkers on for this race. So next flag was going to end it from the beginning. And you see a big stack up. I took to the apron. I, I just, once again, playing it maybe a little too safe. Just did not want to uh, drive into a wreck that was happening. Colton was just telling me that they were checking up, and I just automatically went to the apron to try and avoid it. If they were wrecking, it gave me an opportunity to cut down on grass if I needed to I didn't want to get boxed and last thing you want is to be um in line and they go low and then now you're in the middle of it and now you can't go anywhere here are the last few laps though um 
already coming around to take the white flag. Everyone's all wide open. Everyone's trying to catch up. Everyone's trying to stack back up. And, you know, I it's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to be able to make moves, make runs, but there was too many clean cars at the end of this race. It wasn't like a race where there's only 15 good cars left. Um, there was definitely, you know, 20 and, and a few more. Didn't really have many options uh, here to kind of just had to follow this 22. Uh, right now I'm, I'm currently running around P25. And fortunately enough, another incident up off of turn two. I was able to go high. I really checked up because of that car right there. Um, wasn't sure where he was going, if he was going to be able to hold the brake, and I lost a lot of time, obviously, to the 22. I was, looking back on it, I wish I was able to run wide open around the outside wall there and, and make down the back straightaway a little bit faster. But, uh, yeah, survived. Kept the car clean as we come here to the checkered flag. P19, not, not what I wanted, but we survived. Obviously, probably could have been a little bit more aggressive, but you don't know. Um, there's a lot of situations there where it couldn't have worked out or, you know, would have, would have not ended up very nicely. So um, look, looking looking forward to, to the races to come after this for sure. Um, Dover's going to be the next race, 120 laps there. Um, all these races happen on, on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So um, they're posted on the Drive Smart Warranty YouTube channel. So if you ever want to go watch them live there. So just looking just looking for a little bit of improvements throughout the season. And I definitely feel like 19th is kind of subpar for me when it comes to when we get to the, the regular tracks. We got uh, Dover. Like I mentioned, the next race next week, as well as Indianapolis, the National Super Speedway, as well as Homestead Miami Speedway. So those are the five tracks, as, or the other four tracks as well as Daytona here that make up the five race series. Uh, P19, not a bad start to the season. Um, we'll work with it. Um, definitely not, you know, up up front uh, cl collecting the most points for our team. Our team actually did suffer there pretty badly with some of those incidents, especially Bobby uh, getting spun there um, on the, in the last few laps there. So we are last in the team points on P19, definitely and better than some. Not as great as others, but we'll continue to move on. So I just want to thank all of you for watching. I'll continue to update throughout the season. I hope this was a, an interesting format to, to show a race. I know sometimes it just gets, you know, you can't see the big picture um, when I do the live in-car stuff. So just want to thank you all once again for watching, and we will see you all next time.